Okay, I gotta say it feels really weird to be at Big 12 Media Days as Fox Sports' lead college football digital dude, but I'm having a very good time. And we got to talk with all sorts of players. Matter of fact, there was a room. Let me, let me, let's, let's just look at the room. Also, in case, because I didn't mention it, this is just <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys visitors locker room. So this is the room where it happened. The crew that made it happen. Now, let's talk about the thing that I, well, headline. So I wanted to take this moment just to recap Big 12 Media Days, but also to talk about the title, because I, like you, want to know where the hell is... Spencer Rattler in all of this? And that was really the $64 million question because both Iowa State and Oklahoma did not bring preseason player of the year. For Iowa State, that is inside linebacker Mike Rose, who I believe is the best returning linebacker in all of college football, and obviously the preseason Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. And then Spencer Rattler, the preseason Offensive Player of the Year. And then we also did not get to see Eric Gray, who is the newcomer of the year and tailback who volunteered to become a Sooner. I will never get tired of telling that joke uh, because I just think it's funny. But Riley actually gave some insight into why he chose to leave Spencer Rattler in Norman and bring Jeremiah Hall and Nick Benito. Jeremiah Hall was outstanding. Nick Benito was outstanding and you'll get to see their interviews on the number one ranked show on Friday on the channel and wherever it is that you listen to your podcast, please be sure to go follow, like, subscribe, leave a five-star review if you do this thing on Apple. But the reason that Riley gave for Spencer Rattler's absence is that of seniority. He said at his podium where he's doing the presser among media that wanted to talk to him, you know, in the afternoon, I have a policy of bringing upperclassmen to these events and I don't change that for anybody. Anybody in here for us, our purpose is being Spencer Rattler. What I think is interesting about this is that Spencer Rattler is a red shirt sophomore, which means, yeah, you're right, but he's also a third year player. So like he'd be a junior by normal standards of living. Matter of fact, I think he's a junior classified at OU. However, you can also understand why you would not want to bring a Spencer Rattler to a media day event because he would be overwhelmed, I'm sure, with requests and with folks that want to ask him every little thing, especially with the advent of name, image, and likeness. And we can all see from Twitter and Instagram, Spencer is making full use of name, image, and likeness, as well he should. He's also one of the two best quarterbacks in college football today. So that we're clear about this, I have him number one in my NFL mock draft for 2022, but there are other people that have Sam Howell there at North Carolina. No matter how you slice it, he is the best quarterback in the Big 12 and the starting quarterback for what we think is not only a Big 12 team capable of winning a seventh Big 12 championship in a row, but getting back to the college football playoff for the fourth time in six years and winning a national championship. So there's a lot that we're going to want to see from Spencer Rattler. It just seems we're going to have to wait just a baby, you know, four, six weeks longer to hear from him on a daily basis. But I have not seen this much frothing at the mouth to talk to a quarterback, the starter at Oklahoma, since Kyler Murray decided that he was returning to be the starting quarterback at Oklahoma after being drafted number nine overall in Major League Baseball draft the year that, you know, he goes for 4,000, 1,000, and then leads Oklahoma to the college football playoff. And then, you know, you can talk about Jalen Hurts. You can see what I'm doing here. Like, whatever Riley decides to do ends up being what I think is the right course of action most of the time, this being an example of such. So I wanted to take this time to let you know that because I know that that has been a point of contention. Again, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the podcast. The four of us, Luis holding the camera, Jeremy on the camera behind me, and Kat, who's been producing the show, have been busting our behinds to make what I think is going to be an outstanding show for you. So thank you. Deuces.